Hi folks, how are you doing? It's Keith here. I hope you're all well. Right, I was given this for the purpose of review. This is the Aspire Cleto XO. It's their new TPD compliant tank. Only holds two mils and it's not really got a child looking top. But it's, it's spill proof. You can't spill this at all the way it's designed. So yes, um, it was K-Vape in k uh, that kind of gave me this, asked me to review it because they know so much how I love the Cletos. Yeah. Um, I didn't mind the 120. I did a review on the Cleto 120. It was okay apart for the funky flavour. And the small original Cleto I didn't like at all. I was not a fan of the original Cleto. But I've had this now for a week, a week exactly. And I've been vaping the same coil for a week. And yeah, it's now funky. It's now, yeah, this coil needs change. So an ideal time to do the review. Take it apart. And it's, it's TPD compliant with this coil. Holds two mils. But if you put a standard, apparently, if you put a standard Cleto 0.4 ohm coil in, you get four mils of juice. So yeah, not bad. But we'll go into the close-up, have a look, and put it all back together, come up. Have a vape and tell you what I think of the Cleto EXO. Right, let's take a look at this Aspire Cleto EXO. This was given to me for the purpose of review. Um, thank you very much to K-Vape. So let's open the box and have a look. Yeah, Cleto EXO. Convenient top fill, leak proof top airflow, tremendous flavour and vapour. Fully interchangeable coils with Cleto tank. Yeah, the Cleto tank coils will fit in this. Uh, two mil capacity. And TPD compliant. This product contains nicotine, which is highly addictive. No, it doesn't contain nicotine. It does not contain nicotine. Not until you put juice in it, but I'm not going to go into that. That just winds me up. On the back, ah, oh, we've got again. Nicotine, nope. Uh, Aspire, scratch and check. Your detail, Shenzhen eGate technology. Keep it in reach of children and minors. Right, in the box. In the box we have the Cleto EXO itself. <coughs> Excuse me. We've also got lots of bits of paper that right, we have. A warranty card, limited warranty. USA, Canada and the UK. And then we've got a little manual. Capacity 2 mils, top fill length, including mouthpiece 57 millimeters, diameter 23.5 millimeters, so it's not too big. Coil installation, unscrew and remove the top side stainless steel, pull to remove the tube section, unscrew and remove the atomizer. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, what else we got? We've got a spare Delvin drip sleeve, I suppose, if you'll call it. One on the tank and you get a spare one. So these are very much the same as the old Cleto. You can buy it. I've got, I actually got a resin one. But yeah, you can pop this on. Now this is the rainbow finish Cleto XO. You'll also get it in black, gold, stainless steel and blue. But this is the rainbow one. On the base we have Cleto EXO, no chuck in the bin, CE mark, designed and manufactured by EGET. Another 510. Yeah, you really won't be using that on your regulated devices. I wouldn't use that on a hybrid device to be honest. Doesn't really protrude enough. So yeah, keep to your regulated devices for the EXO. Right, to open it up, you unscrew the top. Top cap comes off, and then you push down, and your sleeve comes off, and then you've got access to your coil. Now, I've been vaping this coil now for a week, and yeah, it's gone. It's, it's like really nasty. So it's time to change this coil. But it has lasted seven days. Let's have a look inside. Let's have a look at this coil. Get a torch. Ah, there we go. 
Oh yeah. Now I have actually been vaping custards in this for the whole week. Lots of nice donut custards. Something I knew that the coil would struggle with. But to be honest, it coped really well. But yeah, you can see that it's all crusty and not looking very nice. I might have a look at recoil on that later. I mean, I know that it's a 2 mil tank, TPD compliant. But to be honest, I've been really enjoying this coil. I've not been a great fan of the original uh, Cleto, and I wasn't, you know, the 120. Yeah, but um, you know, that 2 mil coil head, that's which is, let me just check, it's 0.16, yeah, 0.16, 60 to 100 watts. But I've been quite happily vaping this at 65 to 70 watts, and it's been really tasty. Good vapor production. I've enjoyed that at 65 to 70 watts. And to be honest, it doesn't drink juice, even though there's two mils in the tank. I'm getting a good 45 minutes easy uh, in the tank. You know, 45 minutes vaping before I got to uh, top it up. So I'm quite pleased at that sort of two mil capacity. It, it manages the two mils very, very well. Right, you've got this part, which I actually thought was glass. You've got a stainless steel sleeve, but the actual inner is plastic. Right, you've got your airflow, so you've got... Airflow comes down the bottom, so you've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You've got four air slots in the plastic, which feed all the way up to the top and come out here. So your actual airflow goes in, down, and out these. And you've got vents in the bottom. So when you put your coil in, there's a Cleto coil. I'm going to put the standard Cleto in. So you screw your standard coil in. And as you can see, you've got the airflow holes from the bottom of the coil head that feed into there. And then this pushes on. That's the right way here. Doesn't think it matters what way it goes on. Pushes on like that. Um, that was simple enough. Right, let's get some juice to fill it up and have a vape. Let's try this point. I think it's a point two Cleto coil head. I right, got some steaming guns at the sheriff. Fling the coil up. Now this should hold four mils, let's just see if it does. Right. <clears throat> Fill it up to just below the disc. See where the, the orange rubber is? There's a disc that sticks out. Fill it up just below that. Uh, let's look at our bottle. Yeah, it looks about four mils. Actually, looks about four and a half. Right. Screw that down. That is the Aspire Cleto Exo. Very nice in the rainbow finish. Overall, the build quality, I'm very, very pleased with the build quality of this. Although, I'm quite shocked. I always thought that was glass, but I was shocked to find out it was plastic. So be really careful if you're using your uh, tank cracker juices, just in case. So your lemonades, your citruses, that sort of stuff, just and your cinnamons. Yeah, be careful. Right, let's pop up, have a vape on this uh, with the standard Cleto coil head in it and have a chat about it. Okay, we're back up. We've just done the close-up of the Cleto Exo. Okay, so it's 23.5 millimeters diameter and it's 57 millimeters high. So yeah, it's, it's smaller than the 120, but bigger than the standard Cleto. Got 
the, the juice that we've got in this is, as I said, it's steaming guns, the sheriff, which is a nice sort of raspberry cheesecake style e-liquid. I do enjoy it. Uh, I got that for K-Vape as well. Very tasty e-liquid. Right, we've now got the standard 0.2 ohm Cleto coil on this. Yep, 0.2 ohms. I've got it at 50 watts. Let's have a toot. That's probably the first time I've ever enjoyed the standard Cleto coil head. The airflow on the EXO is extremely smooth. Uh, it's, it's a good long hit, uh, not too restricted. I mean, the gaps down the side of the tank are very, very small, but actually it's a very smooth inhalation. Very smooth. I do enjoy the flavour out of the X, so the flavour is really, really good. Very enjoyable. I must admit, I, mean, that I have just changed this coil and I've given it 15 minutes to steep, uh, you know, with the, the juice in the tank. But maybe this coil is just breaking in. But I, the 0 0.16 coil that comes with the X, so I do prefer the flavour from that coil head. The flavour is much nicer. But then again, this by the time this coil head's bedded in, Hopefully it'll produce as good uh, flavour for me. Mm. Let's put the water job. I'll take it to 70 watts. Uh, 70 watts. Mm, flavour's coming through now. Yeah. Yeah. Much warmer vape and a much stronger flavour coming from the 0.2 ohm uh, standard Cleto coil. I do love the airflow. Overall, get rid of the vapour. Overall, the Cleto XO, I'm very surprised. I do actually enjoy it. I've enjoyed it all week. Uh, I've not had a bad vape from it at all. It doesn't leak. It's dead easy to fill. It's very easy to change the coil heads. It does take the standard Cleto coil head, so you've got that option of uh, you know an extra two mils in your tank. But to be honest, you know even with the two mil sort of coil head, I wasn't I, I was enjoying that coil head the 0.16 a lot more. But it's not better than as I said. Yeah. Now, K-Vape are selling the Cleto Exos for $24.99. Uh, I think the coil heads themselves are around about £3-ish, I think. Uh, but yes. It's certainly not a starter device. It's it's another sub -ohm tank, isn't it? It's a TBD sub -ohm tank. It doesn't leak. You know, it's two mils in capacity if you use the standard the the coil head it comes with. It's very nicely finished. I do love that you know with the, the stainless steel and the little bits of glass, well plastic. You know, it's it's a very very nice looking tank. I do like that. Yeah, right. Another vape, and I'll tell you what I think. Nice. Right, cons. Cons, number one would be the drip tip. Same as the other Cletos. You know, the standard Cleto and the Cleto 120, you've got that sort of sleeve system. Now, I do actually have a resin. You can buy resin uh, drip sleeves for them, and they're not that expensive. I paid a fiver for that, so they're not. It gives you the option to use different style sleeves I suppose another con is only two mils but then again I don't mind that myself but some people having a two mil tank is a big con it's plastic not glass that's another con if you're going to put something like a cloud of lemonade or your dinner ladies the lemon tart or a cinnamon it's going to crack that 
So yeah, that's a big con. It's not glass, it's actually plastic. And I only found out it was plastic today. But pros, flavour's fantastic. Airflow's really, really good. It's extremely well made. It's very easy to fill. It's very easy to take part and clean. Yeah. Myself, I actually like this tank. I do. This is probably the first Cleto that I've actually liked. And I actually say that I do really like this Cleto Exo. So yeah, hope you found this useful. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you very much again to Cave8 for supplying this for review. And I'll catch you all soon. Thank you very much. Bye.